My teaching philosophy comes from the Latin phrase non pro scola sed pro vita, which means not for school but for life, and I really embrace that in every aspect of my teaching. When students come into the classroom, they want to use that knowledge not just for what they're doing in their class, but what they're going to use for the rest of their lives. It doesn't mean that the students aren't getting the academic content, but if they can link that with something that's relevant to their lives right now, I think they're more likely to learn it and remember it and have really, really strong learning outcomes in the future. Some of the most important qualities of a good teacher include really, really careful preparation and also thinking in advance about how students learn and what is the best way to get across that information. You know, I would like to think that engagement and passion are important for a teacher, but in fact, while I think students sometimes appreciate that, that doesn't necessarily show strong learning outcomes for students. It may show that students enjoy themselves, but in the end, we're here to educate students. I was aware that I had a lot of theory in my class and then I was also wanting students to understand how to apply that practically, but I wasn't giving them the opportunity to do that application in the classroom. So I designed a scenario and then I split the students into groups and I had them try to resolve the scenario through a series of exercises. We are, we are the ING, what can we do with the theory? Exercises that the theory of which they had learned, but now they could practically apply in the classroom. Some of the exercises that students are required to do for the simulation class um, include mapping a human rights violation, budgeting and group collaboration, interviewing victims and witnesses of human rights violations, writing an op-ed, holding a news conference, making a video, lobbying power holders at the international level, and designing and mounting a demonstration. This had several very positive benefits. The first is that they really were able to apply theory to practice. And the second is that the content became incredibly interesting to the students, and they were able to engage in it in a way that you rarely get to do in the classroom. We actually engaged in a completely different way with the issues. And it was very real. I don't think you'd ever really think through the issues or, or care about them in the way that we all ended up really caring and feeling about them. It, it takes some courage to do something slightly innovative. Some students are not going to like that. And I think responding to that takes a real balance of confidence and humility. Being able to know when a student is actually right and when the way that you're teaching could use improvement and knowing when to say, you know what, even though you're not happy with this, I'm confident that the way that I'm doing it is actually going to improve your learning. What I love most about teaching is the opportunity to work with students, to share thoughts with them and to hear theirs, and also to shape the way they think and their ability to critically analyze situations. For me, it is really a privilege to have the chance to teach students here at the university.